There you go. I. No, I didn't beat you. It was a good set though. Mm -hmm. I was kind of scared of cake and stuff because he's been getting better with the matchup, but he just started having nerves. And... <laughs> Snake is a character that does that. It's really yeah. it's, it's hard to not be scared of a comeback against Snake. Okay. Oh, is it going? Are we? <gasps> We're oh, talking? Right. Are we on? Is it? I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Right. Two and Fox. Seems like just about everybody in Springfield has a better record on Foxy than I do. <laughs> He's taking games. You know, it could go. We could see the. Chewy dub. Especially since he's playing out of his goddamn mind. I didn't watch the set. Maybe part of this was just slacking, but I don't know. <laughs> you have you, when you play like four characters, you gotta have a plus two on banjo. Come on, one of them. Woohoo! Oh, right. Let's get our, let's get our names in. Oh, wait, are they going? They're going. Okay, watch on that stream, Preston. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Blitz in here. Alright. Bingo. There we go. Nice. Okay. I don't know. Every time I've wondered if Chewie is smart enough to do something, uh, and I've guessed no, I've been wrong. I underestimate Chewie a lot, and I think a lot of people do. So, I'm gonna just assume that Chewie's like a fucking genius at Pac-Man setup. And I mean, look at this lead. Right. Honestly, just knowing how to deal with Pac-Man cheese is like half of the Foxy matchup. Oh! What? You gotta be ready for that, come on. I can't believe he was not ready to tech that. Oh no, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Extending with the landing up air, I like that. Yeah, that early sock doesn't mean anything if you can't get the damage on. And now it's back to even. Have you <laughs> you played Chewie earlier earlier today? Yeah. And Foxy. Whoa. Yeah. So who do you think? Who do you think's playing better today? <laughs> Chewie's popping off. Not even lying. He's doing really good. Uh oh. But yeah, he has not hit Foxy in almost a full minute, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can get a better punish than dash attack, Foxy, surely. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Chewie's general approach to Hydrant seems to just be F smashes, and... I mean, that's his approach to a lot of things, but specifically Hydrant? I mean, if, it, if you have moves that one-shot Hydrant, it's at least worth considering. I don't know. We'll see if Foxy can maybe start to punish those. It's hard if you get hit by the Hydrant, though. <laughs> I don't know, he's going to the bathroom or something. Oop. Yeah, you gotta be careful. When the Hydrant is already damaged, running up on Pac-Man like that is really risky. Because he's got a lot of fast grounded moves that are just gonna... Oh, God! Oh, no! Okay, that was... That did not kill. That was not right. I was literally already halfway through the sentence about how it wasn't killing. And it killed. So I don't know what Chewie did in the Blast Zone, but he fucked up. That was wrong. Right. <laughs> Damn, that's so funny. I, that combo does kill. I know I've seen it kill. Probably kills... He had some rage. Probably just if, you, if the combo starts closer to the ledge, that can kill. That's how it is with lots of those offstage bridges. Right, no. Right, I... 
<laughs> Doesn't matter who you are, he will Wonderwing. That's his, one of his best strengths as a player, is he just doesn't flinch. Oh, you can down smash him. That's cool. Oh, that's cool! That's cool! He needs to turn the down smash around though, so the hydrant actually flies towards Foxy. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, don't get F-smashed! Oh no, we got hit by the roll-in! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the... I don't know if we have any Wonder Wings left on deck. Uh, probably not. I feel like we would have definitely seen one there. Okay, uh, wow. Literally just double jump fair all the way across the stage, and he found it eventually. Seriously, I'm at the point now where there's nobody who I don't think Chewie has like a chance at beating. I feel like anybody, anybody could potentially fall the Chewster. Oh, okay. Edgeguarding opportunity, and he just finds the down. That's good. Now, you gotta be careful going out there to edgeguard Banjo Uppy like that, because it actually has invincibility for the first half of it, I think. Um, so he probably just, it looked like he just barely got that. Okay, playing the mind games with the jab. Oh, okay, well, yeah, we'll just charge fruit. That's good. <laughs> oh my god. He threw the fruit, delaying the Wonder Wing. Pulled up shield. Still didn't... <laughs> Still did not <laughs> have time. I don't know. Drop shield. He got hit by it. <laughs> and yeah, Chewie's keeping that lead that he pulled at the start of the game. Oh, all right. I see you. I see you, Foxy. But <laughs> so does Chewie. And oh god, so close. Wow. And Fair just insta breaks Hydrant. That's actually really good. That's like a move that he's gonna be landing with a lot anyways. What was that? Chewie just let go of the controller there for a minute. Okay, and now Foxy's brought it all the way back to even. Chewie kind of struggling to kill a little bit. And that's definitely not a problem he typically has. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, and no, that down is not gonna kill. Foxy not even bothering to, oh, pfft. okay. Well, I guess that's kind of the ledge trap, isn't it? Apple sent the Hydrant really high. I don't think Chewie was expecting that. Oh, okay. Using the Hydrant as the combo starter into the Galaga, but... Oh, all right. <laughs> and a four there, yeah. I liked what Foxy was looking for there, just re-grabbing the Galaga and probably looking for an air dodge or whatever disadvantage option there was gonna be, but... And this is kind of like game one, where Chewie did manage to find an early lead, but just uh, couldn't find the socks fast enough. And yep, now it's up 2-0 for Foxy. And <laughs> I really just would love to spend a day in Chewie's head, you know? When Foxy's standing at center stage, charging bonus fruit, and you're going to wonder wing into him from off stage. I mean, you are it's it would be a miracle if that move connected. So... I don't know what he was thinking. I, I, I'll call it bravery. I think Chewie is a brave, a brave player. If you throw enough Wonder Wings at someone, you're gonna connect them. You'll find one eventually. Okay. <laughs> okay, now what is that Wonder Wing about? Felt looked like it was buffered because he tried to pull one out earlier and it didn't. Oh! Wonder Wing at nothing. 
I guess the idea is that by using Wonderwing kind of indiscriminate... Oh, gosh, that's so cool. Knew the Galaga was going to connect twice, and he knew exactly where it was going to send. That's very just... Oh, no. Do we live these? Wow. I... <laughs> Okay, sleeping on Banjo Recovery a little bit. He actually makes that back. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like the idea. Banjo's got lots of projectiles. He can play the offstage game with those. No, I don't think so. Oh, gosh. You're probably dead? Yeah. Oh, good job. No way. That up here didn't kill. It was literally the top blast zone at like 120. That's kind of crazy. But it was such a good setup, knowing that the bell would send, uh, oh, all right. He not going to kill at 140. Oh, uh, but the SD will. That does it. <laughs> Just Now, what the hell? Easy, huh? I will not defend that Wonder Wing. Literally dropping right off the respawn platform and Wonder Winging on the platform. I, there, there's nothing to be said. Maybe it was a misinput. Chewy, tighten those up. All right, if you want to win this set, you gotta be a little less liberal with those. Ooh, okay, all right. We found it. A little more damage than the next one could kill. Oh, all right, good setup, Foxy. Nice ledge trapping. Oh, and there's the bell. Yeah. Full side B. A Foxy a few months ago might not have been able to convert off that, but Foxy is way, way more consistent at killing off of any bell he finds at those high percentages now. Okay, good kick. Just get that egg out of there. Oh, again with the... Can't take the back air. And that brings it back to even. Foxy, come on now. He landed on the hydrant. I was hoping he would down smash because that was the first time he was up there with Foxy, and that could have been you know, massive damage if the down smash and the hydrant connected. Now, no, unfortunate. Foxy did have the read and chase him down with the bell, but just couldn't find the smash attack after. And now it's pulling away. How many Wonder Wings do we have? I wonder. Eh, that's the last one, and that's the end of the set. <laughs> Joey, you put up a good fight. Just too many random Wonder Wings, man. What the hell? Welcome back, Preston. <laughs> Where'd you go? I was in the bathroom. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna take a seat. Right. <sighs> I wonder what we got next. You missed the whole damn set. How was it? Well, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a foxy steamroll. Oh. But. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> there was some interesting stuff. Did you know that if Banjo down smashes on top of the hydrant, the hitbox from the down smash instant launches the hydrant. And because he was standing on the hydrant, he's instantly actionable after the down smash. Oh. So it's a lagless down smash. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. Chewie knew about that going in, and he never really got a ton of it, but it was cool to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 3-0. Yeah. was a neat idea. Kind of says it. <laughs> All right. Restart the recording. Oh, right. Foxy Grandpa and Zefty next. More Foxy. All right. Where's that mouse? Come here. Come on. There's, 